Good morning YouTube, this is Kristen and you are watching Chatterbox Budgets. Welcome back to my channel for my second video. I am just throwing this together very quickly. I have a few minutes be between getting back from walking my dog and getting ready for work. So I thought I would just show you what I use for my budgeting for, as far as wallets, planners, well, not all my planners, the planner wallet that I use. Anyway, we'll get started. I did try to film a budget for me video a couple of days ago. Or not budget with me, I'm sorry, a cash envelope stuffing. But I quickly discovered that the equipment I have, which I thought I could make work, doesn't work for what I was trying to do since most of it's a, a you're filming from above the person where the person's working that just didn't work so I <clears throat> did not keep that video just because it when it filmed it caught half my profile and it was a very unflattering look and distracting and I also have changed a couple of things since then that I didn't like about it so I'm just going to show you what I am using right now so I had mentioned in my initial video that everything I use is monochromatic and that's typically true this is my wallet that I carry with me for the gym, and then basically anytime I leave the house to go anywhere off of the, like, in a car, <laughs> basically, I carry this one. The reason that it's not black is because when I ordered it last November, pardon the dog hair, he was just here rolling on everything, um, I ordered this bag to use to just carry things around. All I needed to have was, like, my inhaler and my, my wallet. Um, when I ordered this bag, they were out of the black wallet, and so my only option was the yellow one. And it was more important to me to have the logos and the fabric match than it was to have the color match. So I just ordered the yellow, um, which was actually kind of fun. And so I really have I've actually enjoyed it. I like it because it's very easy to find it. But this is the wallet I carry with me, like I said, to the gym. Um, when I just need to take it with me out of the house real quick, I've got my... Um, my, I just carry, well, I carry my immunization card because you never know when you're going to need it. And also I have my driver's license, my, um, my credit card I use for groceries, gas, stuff like that. And then behind that, I have my debit card that I use for my emergency, not emergency, my freedom fund, which is my sinking fund. That way, if I'm out and about and I want to buy, um, What's an example? I can't think of an example. Clothes, I guess. I have it with me. And those are the only two I carry with me. And then I do have $2 in the back, and then I do have some coins just in case. And I was carrying stamps in here. I think I took them out. Yeah. Oh, no, they're here. I've had these stamps for 10 years, and I still have quite a few left. I carry them around because people always ask for a stamp. I don't actually use them myself, but... I like having them with me because you never know when you might need one of those too. So anyway, that's my everyday wallet. And I love this thing. The Velcro is hard because it doesn't stay closed with the immunization card in there. But the um, I also have my spare key to my house and my car attached. And then it has this little lanyard, which I like. I don't keep it on my neck because I'm always afraid it'll get ripped off. But I like having this to hold on to when I have it in my hand so that I have just extra. I'm not going to put it down or something and, and forget where I put it. But this thing has been awesome. Um, like I said, it doesn't stay closed very well. And hopefully we don't have to carry the immunization cards much longer. But who knows what's going to happen. Anyway, so that's the one. It fits. I have a little mini backpack, a silver mini backpack that I use for the gym. And this fits in there perfectly. That's where I normally keep it because that's where I go. I go there pretty much every day. Well, I try to anyway. So I keep it in there and that way I know where it is. And then if I am going out to like the store or something, I have this bag and I'll just throw it in here. And this bag just has this little thing in there. This has like chapstick and uh, cough drops and stuff in it. And this I throw in my gym bag too. So anyway, that's my actual everyday carry wallet. Um, this is my original wallet for like grocery shopping, gas, things like that. My regular everyday expenses. I love this wallet. It's Savvy Sense. I purchased this I think in the beginning of 2020. I'm not 100% sure. But I like this one because of the accordion style pockets. I had used actual cash envelopes in a different wallet for a while, and I loved doing that. It worked really well, but I fell in love with this thing, and I couldn't resist buying it. I think most of it's this part right here that I really liked, but I love it. I still would love to use it, but because I don't do any of my grocery shopping in person, I, I purchase everything with Walmart grocery delivery, um, non-pandemic related reasons. But I, right now what I'm doing is I'm using it for my cash. And so instead of having my actual cash in the individual wallet or individual um, Oh, sorry, envelopes. I have it in here and then I have them sorted by bills. I just was thinking about how disgusting money is and when I'm sorting through the money and trying to organize everything or count it or whatever, I don't want to accidentally lick my fingers and get germs from somebody. I know that sounds, I mean, well, it doesn't sound weird, but I know it's something that most people probably wouldn't worry about. 
normally I wouldn't, but it's something I caught myself doing when I was recording that video and it really grossed me out. And so I'm trying really hard to avoid anything that would put me in that situation. Plus it's just safer. This, this stays locked up in my safe. And so all my cash, my actual cash is locked in the safe. And then, so this side is the money I haven't spent yet, spent yet. And what is in here is actually what I have planned to spend and is available. Um, and then once I spend it, I would take it from here, well, eventually, and put it over here. This is the side of where I, the money I have spent. But I love this wallet. These pockets, they're six for, like, ID, or not ID, um, whatever you want. But I usually keep credit cards over here, and I keep my Sam's Club and my Subway card here. And then this is my miscellaneous pocket. But like I said, for right now, it just shows what I've spent so far. Um, and so the dollar amount on here should match the dollar amount in here. And then that's what I would take back to the bank when I go to the bank on my next payday to get more cash. So that's that wallet. And this one stays locked in my safe. So my actual cash is locked in my safe unless I'm actually using it and then, it, then I take it out. Okay, and then this one is my Lux wallet. I love this thing too. All of them are, I just love all of them. I've been using them for almost two years. Well, about a year and a half for most of them, at least, if not two years almost. Um, and I have no intention of changing. I did try to, or I did look at ordering some different binders from Amazon, but I started thinking about it and the, the material they're made out of is kind of that sticky plastic stuff and I was afraid that the texture would bother me and the fact that they would stick together like, like when your legs stick to the, a, like a leather seat on a, on a hot day <laughs> if you're wearing shorts. I didn't like that thought and so I decided not to get them. But I may change my mind later, who knows. But these are the Lux wallets and they are just, I love the quality. Uh, they're very durable. The fabric is like you can scratch it and it doesn't really scratch it, but it's got the logo. I love this thing. And um, I have all my, like all my credit cards, my debit cards uh, for my regular checking account, everything in here. And I like it because people can't necessarily see it when you're getting stuff out. There's, it's all pretty much safe and protected. And then in the back, I've just got a bunch of random gift cards and membership cards or whatever. But these are my everyday envelopes. I'll just flip through them real quick. There's gas, groceries, home, miscellaneous, personal, and pets. And that's what I that's what I budget weekly or bi-weekly to spend on those categories. And that's where I would carry with me if I actually left the house, but because I don't, it just stays here. I do have the prop money or fake money in here. And that's just so that I can go through and actually, I actually am doing in here what I would do normally with the regular cash except the regular cash is locked away. But this is from, this is, since it's prop money, there, I don't have to worry about germs. I don't know why that became such a thing for me all of a sudden, but it, but it is. Maybe it's because it's getting close to flu season. I don't know. You'd think during a pandemic, I'd be worrying about the pandemic, but I'm not. Anyway, okay. So this is my actual um, freedom fund binder, sinking fund binder for those of you who follow Dave Ramsey or anyone who has a sinking fund. Um, let me close this. Sorry, I keep saying them. This one's also the Lux wallet. Oh, and I, I'm sorry, I meant to mention. So the the pouches, um, I can't remember what they call them, but these are from Lux wallets as well, and they're they're really really qual they're high quality. I call them luxurious. I it's kind of a, a weird word for it, but to me that's how they feel. They're a little bit more narrow than the ones you can order from Amazon. They've got the metal zipper right here. I've only broken one in the two years almost that I've been using these, and I think I stepped on it or something happened to it. Um, but I've only broken one and I have like probably 25 of them. So, um, I ordered them laminated, not laminated, I'm sorry, vinyled from the company and that's how they came. And then these are their newer budget sheets and it says on there, the wallet company. I'm not sure if they've changed their name or what's going on there, but I love these things and I don't keep the trackers updated necessarily because I use the good budget app to track everything, but I do like to have it written down just in case I get the urge to wipe out the good budget app, which I do pretty regularly because I like to start over fresh. But then I have a, a running tally, but I, I only update it probably when I'm emptying it or filling it or whatever. Anyway, yeah, so that the, all everything inside of this as far as the stuff is from them, except for the fake money that I got from Amazon. Okay, there's that one. Then this is the planner. So I ordered this first because I wanted something for my sinking funds, and I just loved how this looked. I love the zipper. There's just something about it that really appeals to me. I, I think it's just, it's simple, but it's also compact and just... I like, I just liked how it looked. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, so this has my freedom fund. I'm going to call it sinking fund for those of anyone who might be watching who has the sinking funds. But for me, the freedom fund or my sinking funds, sorry. <laughs> the reason that I call it something different is this is not savings. This is 
money that I've put aside to spend eventually, but I know I will be spending it. And that's the whole point of having it here. And so what I do with this though right now is I do have it in a checking account. It's a separate checking account from my bills. And so I do have a debit card for it. But um, what I do is at the end of the pay period, or not the pay period, at the end of the budget period, so before I stuff my envelopes in here again, I take whatever's left out of here and put it in here. And so anything left in my food category, all those categories will go into my freedom fund. And so that's why I can just take the cash that's left over and put it in here. But again, right now I would have everything, everything in here because this is safe and locked up. This is way more roundly than I meant for it to be, but oh well, that's okay. We're going to get it done and just post it and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. All right. So in here we have emergency fund. This is just the, the smaller emergency fund. I call it the mini emergency fund. The most I would carry in this is probably $500, maybe a thousand. But once I got to a thousand or actually probably once I got to a hundred, I would put it in the safe. It's just here right now. It's depleted because I have, I've done quite a few things for my car, like new tires and stuff this year. And so I've just, there's no reason to, to have money sitting around when I can use it for that. So that's what I've used it for. Anyway, that was that was not a very good explanation of that. It's empty right now because I'm working on refilling it. How about that? Okay, so again, these are all pockets from the wallet company or Lux wallets, whatever they want they are called now. This does have little pockets in here and I was keeping gift cards in here, but I really didn't like how it looked. Um, again, if you didn't, well, if you didn't watch my intro video, then the OCD thing probably won't make a lot of sense, but I, I do have OCD and it does create some, what's the word? Anyway, some, um, just some, some, wow, see, I can't even think of the word. It does create some issues for me. And so I do what I can to try to avoid those issues by simplifying things and taking away things that will bother my brain. So the cards were bothering me. I think it's because they weren't matching. <laughs> Probably this matches. So I like it. Okay. So this is auto and auto is for car maintenance, car repair, or not car maintenance, repair, car maintenance and car registration. Entertainment, which is for going to movies eventually. Gifts for Christmas, birthdays, and events like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Boss's Day, all those things. Pet care is for veterinarian, um, also for grooming. And then this is also where I would have money saved if I were to go on a trip or something and I, I needed to pay someone to watch my pets. I would have the money sitting in here. Self-care is for hair care, hair products, skin care, makeup. Um, I, I could keep money in here for massages, but I... I don't have anything put aside right now just because I haven't been with the pandemic. It's been a little, I didn't want to schedule that and have it be something that got canceled. So shopping, shopping would include books, clothing, electronics, and software, uh, hobbies, like all my planners, all this stuff would be considered a hobby for me. And then, um, home goods. So like bedding, pillows, towels, things like that. So I have it all in one. And because these, the way these wallets are, the rings work. You can only fit seven at the most of these uh, envelopes, pouches, whatever in here. So instead of having one for each category or each, um, I guess it's category or a subcategory, I have them divided by the actual category. So that's why there's auto entertainment. Those are separate categories. Gifts. I already went to these, didn't we? Self-care. Okay. So self uh, shopping. And then the last one is travel. This is one that's new to me. I do need to get some, either get some vinyl for these or order some more from the the company I got them from. But travel is a new one. I'm hoping to plan a trip next year to go visit my VIP, that very important person. And so I figured I should start a fund. I would still use my credit card to pay for everything because I don't feel safe traveling with cash. And you have to have a credit card to, to get a plane ticket anyway. But I would, the goal would be to have everything already put aside or by the time I leave and then I can just pay myself back. I, I would like to have the money uh, ready for the ticket before I purchase the ticket, but we'll have to see how things go with the world. Anyway, so that's my freedom fund slash sinking fund binder. I love this thing. Like I said, um, it's, I, I can't see myself changing anytime soon. I love that these match like exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, one's, they're, the logos are on different sides, but they're for different purposes. This also does have a strap, so if I were to carry it with me in, in person, I'd ha there's a strap for it. I don't like carrying this one outside of the house because of how ginormous it is, but I do love this wallet. And, of course, you expect it to be pretty big because of the envelopes. But that's why I would, if I were to leave the house and actually go shopping like I used to, I would probably carry this one, and then I would keep 
the second week worth of funds in this one. When I do carry cash on me, I would only carry half. So I'd carry, carry the first week's worth of cash or the second week, depending where we are, and not carry everything because that way if something were to happen, I would not lose all that money. Um, I have been in situations where I've lost cash before. Um, like on a, I was on a trip and I lost my gas money. And so because of that, I'm extra paranoid now. All right, that probably should be enough for today. <laughs> and I apologize, this is rambly, unedited. Um, I did try to record it last night and ended up deleting that video just because I, I don't know, I just, that's gonna happen to, my, to me a lot. I will have better filming, um, not equipment, but I'll have better setup later and then I can do some other things. But in the meantime, I'm just holding my phone with my hand and we're gonna call it good. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day or whatever a day, night, life, month, <laughs> all of those things. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.